Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here uh, doing your nightly reading, my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective, so it may ooh, be the light. Shine bright. Stand strong, Cancer. I feel like you're a light worker. Honestly, I really do. Um, anyway, Cancer, um, just take what resonates, Cancer, leave the rest, okay? And thank you, everyone, for all of your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares. You know what? You guys are just fabulous to me. Thank you so much for everything. I truly do mean that. Ooh, caution. You're going to be looking for some kind of red flags. What is this? Abundance, success, happiness, yeah. Burdens. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, you're the light. You're attracting other people to you, okay? Um, I, I always get the feeling like light workers, we're like a flashlight in the darkness for others. And you attract a lot of people with that energy cancer. And you know you're going to have to use your intuition with whoever comes towards you, okay? Because I feel like somebody else may be coming towards you. You're being cautioned. Um to watch for red flags in other people, okay? Um, because you know what? You're very abundant out here. You're successful. Uh, you're happy. I feel like you guys are in like Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. That's the card that they're showing me in my head. Um, you're successful, right? You've come a very long way. You've built yourself up. You put in so much effort into everything that you've got right now. Um, you've put so much effort into all of your healing, okay? And I feel like um, you, you just want to be happy. But I feel like you, you need to use caution because not everybody is going to be coming in for the right reasons. A lot of people are going to be coming in to take advantage of this abundance. And I feel like you know that. So you're really kind of nervous. It's like you're nervous about something here. Um, because I feel like there's a, you could be getting a lot of offers from other people right now. I feel like a, a lot of eyes are on you out here. I feel like you're a light worker. I'm feeling that star energy. Okay. So yeah, you could be in the public eye. You go, oh, oh, cancer. Look at this proposal, moon, apology. You do not see this coming. Maybe that's what you're, oh, cancer. <laughs> Cancer, somebody's about to propose to you. Um, you do not see it coming. Like this is good. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. It really is. It's going to really surprise you. And I feel like that's what puts you into the nervousness about it. Okay. Yes. Now it's making sense. Um, yeah, I feel like someone's coming in with an apology. Definitely someone from your past who's wronged you, right? They're in a lot of regrets. They want to reconcile. They're going to be asking for your forgiveness, okay? You're going to be using your intuition here because this is why you're cautious, right? This is somebody you've dealt with before. You, they may have broken your trust. You don't trust them anymore, um, you're very abundant now, and I feel like this person may have um, bailed on you, you know, in a time of struggle because they keep showing me the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is somebody who really underestimated you. And when you were in a time of struggle, which let's face it, we've all been there. I've been, my, most of my life has been spent in poverty, okay? Um, so I get it. I get it. But that doesn't mean you don't have anything to bring to the table. You know, I feel like you brought this person love, real love, Cancer. Love with, with, uh, with no hidden motives, okay? Love that was pure and honest. And I feel like they, they may have thought at the time that that just wasn't enough. They didn't see the value in that. But now you flipped on this person. All the things that you were working on then have grown now. And now you're reaching a point of abundance. I feel like um, you're very successful living a happy life here. And I feel like you're going to wonder if this person is coming in um, just for your abundance. You're going to be looking for all of the red flags because they are coming in with a proposal, okay, a love offer. All right. They are. It says here they, they want to apologize. They're in regret. They want your forgiveness and they want to get back together on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo. 
Um, this person, this is all that they think about. They do not want to let you go. They don't want to let you go, Cancer, okay? I, and it says, be the light. They don't want to let you go. You're the light. And there's that star. I felt that star energy. You guys, I've been getting so many conf... It's like, these are like psychic readings, okay? All right? It's getting to the point where they're, they're like psychic readings. Because um, honestly, for the last... I don't know, a few weeks at least, all the confirmations coming out in my reading right after I say something, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, there's that star, you're the light, and they want to hold on to that. Okay, thank you, Divine. They want to hold on to that. You're about to hear from this person, and I can see this is them bringing you a gift, possibly a ring, okay? Yeah, man, they're coming towards you, Cancer, so get ready. This person, this is too many cards, Divine, but they know what they want. And this is a situation, oh my gosh, Cancer, this can be transformed. They want to transform this. We've got death, right? Old ways of thinking are, go, are coming to an end for transformation. Death is transformation, Cancer. With the Wheel of Fortune, yes. That is transformation, a big change, right, into the Ten of Cups. This person, I feel like um, they're determined, Cancer. I feel a determination off of this person, yet they don't want to be out in the cold anymore. They see the light now. They know they want their happiness. They want this commitment. And this person, I feel like um, the thought of you leaving their life, is a painful ending that they don't they they just can't face that okay they want this commitment with you this person does they want to come out from being out in the cold okay they don't want to be out in the cold anymore yeah they want to get back together here cancer for real you are about to get a proposal i feel like this is it this is this is the this could change everything, Cancer. I am not kidding. This is major change here with the Wheel of Fortune and Death. Okay? Right into the Ten of Cups. A happy ending. It's almost like a fairy tale ending. Look, a new beginning. I'm telling you, somebody's going to get a proposal. And look, um, <laughs> I'm like, look, look, uh, 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 apology here. Yeah, they see everything different. This is having a, a, an awakening, Cancer. They're seeing everything differently. They're getting the strength here to approach the High Priestess. And they're coming in correct. And they're being divinely led. And they, they feel like an idiot. <laughs> they do. They feel like a fool for putting you through what they did. Okay, they know you may not talk to them. You're this high priestess here, I feel, a very spiritual being. They are being divinely led here, Cancer. Like, as they make it to your house, the divine is keeping them in check. Don't act a fool, brah. Don't act a fool, right? That's what the divine is like. Don't do anything stupid, Okay, this can transform as long as you come in the right way. I'm telling you, they're being coached here by the divine. It's almost like the divine is going through some checklist with them in the car on the way there. Um, yeah, they're about to approach you, Cancer. Okay, so get ready. Get ready. They want to start this over. You know, the Fool card starts every journey in every tarot deck. Okay, and this can be a new beginning. It could, this is something that could, with the higher font out here, it's something that could lead to the Ten of Cups. With the, with the death card and the change and transformation of the Wheel of Fortune, this could, this could be, a, this could be something that changes everything. This proposal, this apology, um, this gift, whatever they have for you, it, the way they come forward, it could change everything. And, and they're being, you know what, though? I feel like, ugh, cancer, you may just cut this person out of your life here um, because of how they played you in the past. Yeah, you, they broke your trust so bad. 
you're moving on right now. Look, you're going to have to, when this person comes forward and talks to you, I feel like um, you're going to have to maybe take a moment and look back on things, right? That's what you're doing here. You're taking a, a second and looking back on how they treated you here. They played you. They were. They could have been cold, harsh with their communication. This is somebody who broke your heart in a third-party situation. They're wanting to know if you can leave all of this in the past and get back together. Oh, my gosh, Cancer. See how you look back on it. I feel like this is you in decision-making time. Well, as you, as you stand here ready to start your new life, you're looking back on how they treated you, but yet at the same time, I feel like, um, yeah, you're kind of like this, Cancer, okay? But honestly, the scales are weighing much heavier when it comes to what they did to you. That's why you're using so much caution. And now that you're stepping into an abundant new life, that's why you're being protected or yeah, you're, I, I said that wrong, but it came out right. You're being protected. I feel like this connection, the divine is, the, look, the divine is leading this person to you, whether you want them or not. I feel like you're going to have a decision to make, and it's going to be a tough one. Because right now, you know, too, you're moving forward, and you have other options coming in your future. You may already have other options around you right now. You may have already met a new soulmate connection for some of you. And you're in the process of moving forward, just determined and high vibing. And you, this person and, and a lot of other people have put you through it. You know? I feel like you're going to be watching really close for those red flags, Cancer. I got to say, I, I feel like this is your energy. Observing. Observing to make sure this person is telling you the whole truth. You want to make sure they're not lying to you. Um, yeah, you're looking for all the red flags. I'm really feeling like this is your energy. Like, come out with it, buddy. Come out with it, you know. Um, yeah, you're using a lot of caution here. You may not be saying anything, like holding back what you have to say, um, to hear them out, and everything that they say um, they're, they're talking about um, wanting to commit. I want to commit. I want to be grounded. I want to be stable. You could be dealing with um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like as this person speaks about commitment and a proposal, you are really watching for all the red flags. Getting ready to put this person out in the cold at any moment for real. Um, yeah, Cancer, but I'm telling you, this does have a chance to transform, and this person is being led forward here to you. The ball's going to be in your court, darling. Yeah, and this is you. What did I say? You're like, I don't know. You're weighing the scales. You're weighing the scales here, Cancer. On, you know, on one hand, this person wants you back. And this is somebody that you really, really wanted to be with. This is someone that you've loved, okay? Um, and on the other hand, you know that you're headed straight for other options and new soulmate connections. And then you look back in the past and you are looking at all of the hurt that they put you in. Yeah, you're going to be like, I, I might, you might need to think about this. You might need to think about it, Cancer, but this... For, I feel like this is a proposal, and I feel like it's coming in fast. And I feel like uh, they want your love, man. You're going to have to use your intuition. Some of you may have to, like, tell them you need to think about it and pray on it and meditate on it. Maybe, uh, you know, if you read tarot, something like that, you're gonna be you're gonna be asking the divine. I feel, but yeah, you're about to get a, you're about to get a love offer, and it's coming in really fast. This is I feel like um, some of you may even have new love that you could tell this person that, and if you do, I feel like if you reject this offer, Cancer, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like you're ripping this person's heart out. 
but you know what though you you need to focus on what's right for you okay I want you to focus on what's right for you you get to decide okay you get to you get to um, create your own future here all right and you have free will so you know this is something that you may need to think about it for a day it when you tell this person that they may be like totally crushed um, they may have a lot of anxiety and this is going to hit them hard in the gut it is they're going to be in a lot of regret if you turn this person away and some of you might some of you might turn this person away because you're you're very determined to move on from this you're determined to move on yeah i feel like they're gonna be like i waited too long cancer doesn't feel about me the same way uh, cancer may be having other suitors um, cancer has other options i've got a lot of competition yeah if you cut this person out if you say no and reject them because of how they treated you before they're gonna be like it's it's I don't know how to describe it they're gonna feel devastated they are they're gonna feel devastated okay but I mean you have to choose what's right for you cancer I can't make that decision for you but I can tell you that this this particular um, person this connection it does have the ability to transform into the ten of cups this person is in a lot of regret and I feel like they do mean what they say here I feel like this uh, proposal is a real one I'm not actually seeing any red flags I'm not I'm not feeling them out here either. I feel like this is a single person coming towards you with the proposal who's ready to commit. And they're being spiritually led to you. They're also being warned and coached in the car. You better come correct, honest, and true. And I feel like they do, Cancer. But the ball is in your court. Like I said, I mean, Listen to your gut feelings, right? Listen to your intuition. Ask the divine. Take your time to decide, okay? Um, if you have to, you know, but I'm telling you now, this proposal, this apology, this love offer, it really could change everything. Like this could be transformed um, into the Ten of Cups, ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? I got I got to tell you everything that I see. So like, you know, choose choose your own future wisely, Cancer, okay? Anyway, my darlings, um yeah, very exciting. Get ready for this. It's I feel like it's coming in soon. I'm kind of getting like for someone maybe even this weekend, um this weekend to through the week maybe. So get prepared. Okay, think heavy about what it is that you really want. Anyway, Cancer, I love you guys. I hope this helps. I do. I, you know, this is going to be such a difficult decision for you. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a really tough decision because what's going to be on the back of your mind the whole time is everything this person said that was rude, mean, harsh, cold, and cruel. All the player energy, the using you the in and out energy just toying around with you and the third party heartache and betrayal that's what you're going to be thinking about and wondering the whole time can you trust them again and that one you have to go to god for okay but i'm not seeing any red flags in this reading i'm not i'd tell you if i was cancer i would totally um but anyway you guys you know Oh my gosh, this is going to be a really difficult decision for you, Cancer, so please get ready for that, okay? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.